What are you doing to that clock? I'm fixing it. Oh, well, fix it and don't talk. I've got a lot of work to do. Now, where was I? Oh, that's right. Now, 13 and 6 and 9 and... Oh, how can I do any work? How can I do anything with you sitting there making the noise with the clock? I'm not making a noise. I'm mending it. Hey, Dad. Do you think I'll ever be able to marry Mabel? My boy, I'd be very happy to see you settle down and married, but, well, you may as well know the truth. I've been trying to reduce me overdraft, and I borrowed money to do it. I've paid a pretty high rate of interest, and I've got to meet that interest bill. Ah, oh, does that mean that Mum won't get a car? Well, I don't want to disappoint your mother. She set her heart on having this car now that the Ramses have got one. It means something to her that I'm on the Snake Gully Council. And I promised your mother, and... Well, now I don't know how I'm going to keep that promise. I wish I could help you, Dan. I've been adding up these figures and working out the interest and looking at my bank book, and I can't let your mother down. Well, what can we do, Dan? What do you mean, what can we do? You can't do anything. You're right, I can. Your troubles are my troubles. Good on you, Dave. I know how hard Mum's worked. I know she deserves a bit of a rest now. She likes going around and being all social. Oh, I'll have to try and help her. Why, what can you do for her? Well, I'm mending the clock anyway. Oh, Dave, if that strike... Look, stop it, will you? If that clock strikes again, I'll do some striking. Oh, I got a bit nervous. The thing doesn't go at all now. Four and six and I'll have to take some of the wheels out. Do you know anything about clocks? Oh, I can fix it. Drives Mum will be pleased to find the clock working again. Oh, you she? don't <laughs> know anything about it. Do you give me a go? Let's have a look. I'll get a few of these little wheels out now. I'll unscrew this one. Ah, oh, this must be a... I can't get this spring to go in. Wait a minute, Dave. The other wheel is coming out now. Dad, look. We've got everything out of the clock now. Well, it's just a matter of putting it back in the right way. Hello. Here's Mum. Oh, it's a pity we couldn't have had the clock mended before she got back. Now, don't say anything about my troubles, Dave. You leave it to me, I'll Dad. I'll put that bank book and these papers in my pocket. Good night, Mr. Ramsey. Thanks for the little oh, Here she is. I'll help the other car, too. Good night. Open the door for your mother, Dave. All right. Hurry up. Hello, Mum. Well, why don't you ask her to marry you? We're getting on well now. 
Dad'll be able to set you up in a little home. Oh, there's <laughs> tons of time, Mum. There's tons of time. I'm in no hurry. Wait till we get the car. Dad'll lend it to you. And you'll be able to take Mabel out for a ride. Yes, that'll be great. Oh, uh, about this car, Sarah, I, uh, I wanted to tell you that, uh, <clears throat> I'm going into town tomorrow. Oh, see about the car? Yeah. Oh, Dad, that'll be wonderful. And if I want any little thing in the town, you and Dave can drive me in. For instance, if we have the car, we could run that clock in tomorrow. Just look at it. It'll never be mended. Uh, tell us some more about the social, Mum. What's the matter with you, Dad? You look a bit worried. Uh, what, me? Worried? Oh, no, you're wrong, Sarah. I'm not worried, am I, Dave? Not a bit, Dad. I, I, I've i never known you look happier. You both look a bit worried to me. Perhaps it's about the clock. Never mind, don't worry about it. Yes, that's right, it was about the clock. Oh, uh, well, I suppose you meant well. Oh, it's getting a bit late. I think I'll go to bed. Same here. Come on, Sarah. You must be tired. Mr. Johnson, you've been manager of this bank for a good many years, and, well, you've known me for a long time. Surely you can trust me enough to increase me overdraft a little? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But I've had instructions that all overdrafts are to be reduced. I cannot possibly make an exception in your case. But I promised Sarah that I'll buy her a car. You know what it is. We worked pretty hard when we first started out here. She helped me with the milking, you know. Up early every morning. Nothing was a trouble to her. And now we're not as young as we used to be. And, well, the Ramses have got a car. And Mum likes to go about a bit. I quite understand, but I'm afraid I cannot do anything for you just at present. Perhaps next year. If you come to me again, we might discuss the matter. Well, I know it's been a bad season and we're all feeling the pinch, but if we get rain, things will be all right. Quite so, but there is no guarantee that we'll get rain. No, oh, I suppose you're right. Then, of course, there's me boy Dave. He's sitting out there in the trap. You can see him through the window. Oh, he's a good, steady boy, and he wants to get married. Of course, I... I'd like to help him. I quite understand, but we all have our troubles. I have to listen to a number of distressing stories. You see, uh, just along the main street, all those shops look prosperous and well-kept, but they're all feeling the pinch simply because you farmers have had a bad year. Yes, they say we're the backbone of the country. It seems to me that the backbone is aching a bit. I'm sorry. Believe me, I'll give the matter my earnest consideration. And if there's anything I can do, I will. Oh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Johnson. I I don't suppose you can say any more than that. <coughs> well, I'll be getting along. <coughs> Dave's waiting for me. I promise to let him drop in and see Mabel on the way home. <laughs> 